Hello guys, hope you are doing good. In this session, we will discuss about QNAP server, which is a QNAP server is a kind of network attached server, a network attached storage server, which we are going to configure NAS drive in our IT infrastructure. Guys, we will going to configure NAS drive. We will assign the static IP to our NAS drive and we will synchronize the backup and we can we can make a CISF and SMB backup into our NAS drive and we can also uh, take a backup of NAS to NAS drive so guys if you are first time viewer on my channel please like share and subscribe so guys in this session we will co cover complete network attached server uh, configuration installation everything which we are going to complete session this session you will get uh, so guys let's uh, start to configure first you need to uh, unpack your new NAS drive and attach to your IT infrastructure once you have attached IT infrastructure you need to download QNAP find which is uh, this which you once you have uh, downloaded QNAP finder I am going to implement all the settings in QNAP find QNAP uh, server so download once you have download you will get this screen QNAP once you have attached you in your IT infrastructure the, you will get the new static I new dynamic IP there will be a pop-up uh, with the name and you will get this uh, IP and this IP belong to the network attack storage server so I am getting 213 IP so I will going to configure this so I have this IP I will going to start smart installation uh, once I have get the IP I knew the IP which is I am getting for my network attack storage so I will going to start the installation so uh, just press on start on uh, start smart installation so the current version of firmware is this so I will go with the same version current version click to next click to just click to next so I have started the configuration of my network attack storage server so I will type here QNAP only the same name I will going to use and this name I will going to I need to here I am assigning the NAS drive network attack storage server and network right storage server name and username password I will repeat the password so this and I will use this password whatever password you want to use you can use the password so I have I used my in password once you have used your password you just click on next press on next no one I don't need to save just click on again next so username is not creating so I will use my name so just click on next so once I have uh, assigned the username and the password I have assigned so I need to select the time zone so my time zone is UAE Dubai so plus 5 I need to select plus 5 Abu Dhabi Moscow this and time synchronization NTP server <coughs> my NTP server is this if you want to attach the attach otherwise leave it at, leave as it is <coughs> and just click on next once you have attached and just click on next so you are getting the IP so now you are starting to start the configuration from now because you are getting dynamic host control protocol IP DHCP which is called as DHCP so I will assign here the static IP so I will assign here the one static IP which is which it's up to me so I will assign here one IP is this so I have assigned a 19 IP so static IP series is C kind of 3192162019 which I have assigned just below the text and IP address I am getting this IP address and this uh, gateway is this my gateway and primary DNS which I will going to use my DNS is this and my DNS is this and live is as it is click or just click raise this raise this or 
you can also use it if you want to use I will going to use my new to tool tool so just once you have assigned the static IP subnet mask default gateway and primary and secondary uh, DNS domain name so just click on next once you have click on next you will get this screen you are applying the logging information which is which is this so you just click on next because I have assigned 19 IP the default port is at zero just click on apply once you have click on apply the installation the configuration part it will be all initialized just click on apply initializing so my setting is applied it will take here little time to complete initializing so now for now i will just stop my video